All right, everyone. It is me, Jensen Chan, and uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna wind up just doing the uh, investing video on Saturday, which means I'll be having to do six videos this week. And then maybe next month I'll just take the the Monday off or something, unless it's something super major or whatever. I also have to like maybe write up write write up some kind of Google spreadsheet thing too that can modify on stream because I have to go over the math involved so people can see what the hell's going on. So anyway, I want to get back to play on Hades Star. I've uh, just been leveling up an alt account, and um, yeah, I mean it's just uh, take up a little more time than I like, but eventually I'll be able to go back to you know reading my book or working on the game or something. But having a lot of fun. That's that's good. It's lowering my stress. All right, so I just know that the markets are actually opening up right now as uh, up quite a bit. So uh, I just want to see what's up. Uh, Bitcoin searches for this week are down to thirteen. Uh, I'm not surprised. I'm going to refresh this one more time just in case. Um, Alright, so normally interest is shit, but with that being said, not a lot happening, but the prices are going up and that's what we care about. Bitcoin down 65.9%. 24 hour mine is basically a little under 100 billion. Bitcoin's at 9180, so it's going back up. Uh, Litecoin's going back up as well, 4372. So across the board, we see uh, increases after, like, I guess, some kind of sluggish thing i mean you know uh the equity markets are skyrocketing i guess now people want to put some money back into crypto all right and then on top of that was i also completely forgot it was memorial day weekend so that actually has a negative effect on prices too silly because just no one around doing anything I, I didn't mention that yesterday but you know my mind was preoccupied with a bunch of other shit Dog coins at 314.3 million market cap. Oh, and one other thing. I actually went to my local pharmacy, right, to buy cleaning products, which, of course, they were still sold out of. But I did actually see more hand sanitizer. I actually saw hand sanitizer, not a lot. It's small bottles. But I had hand sanitizer. Uh, I even saw tissues. And there were actually more cleaning products than normal. I actually picked up. Now, because I didn't have the, you know, bathroom wipes, what uh, the sprays that I like, the non-toxic. They actually had a bunch of like, huge bottles of Ajax antibacterial dishwashing soap. So I go use that to make my ghetto uh, cleaning agents. And that's definitely a lot less toxic. At least it doesn't create like those extreme chemical fumes like let's say laundry detergent does and then just makes my inflammation go crazy. So I'll just use that and you know use that as my ghetto cleaner. So you know, uh, yeah. Uh, it's cheap too. Like, Two dollars and nineteen cents. I bought like three. There was like you know nine or twelve of them on the shelf. Right, there was actually quite a bit. There was no limit, but I said, all right, I'll just buy three. I think that should be more than enough. And then during the summertime, you know, I can restock or whatever. Doggy coin. Oh, I read doggy coin. Uh, hive. Uh, probably down here somewhere. Twenty-seven point eight six cents. So it's up. So pretty much across the board, just about every coin is up, and Steam is, you know, pretty neutral, 20.61 cents. I don't know why it's up to, I don't know. Yeah, basically it's just flat fighting. So overall, crypto's going up, that's what we want. You know, 404 thing, could, uh, of course, Crex is having some trouble here. Uh, so things are moving along nicely, you know, uh, swaps are, co are, are about to happen. Uh, BTC pop actually needs a little more time, so uh, if you want to use BTC pop, you should really just do it by today. Right, I, I don't understand why people would just take forever. It's like you know, it's like this is gonna, this is what's gonna set you free and make all your dreams come true, and then you don't like, and then you procrastinate on it, right? Uh, like, and, and then you wonder why you're poor. You know, it, it's not, I'm not, it's not even asking much. It's not like, hey, go out and get a job and work, you know, eight hours at like fucking McDonald's, right? And then do that for a couple of years to save up investment money. And it's like, no, it's like just sign up for a free account and then put your coins in there and then it'll swap for you. Now, with that being said, uh, Crux is still open, right? You know, so I mean, who knows what, what the hell everyone's doing. But I'm having everybody try to go over and uh, with Crux. Uh, okay, um, hold on a sec. Uh, my, of course. I will have to admit, it will be nice to eventually have all these wallet softwares upgrade to the new one that Mitch uh, 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 the new code base that Mitch is using for the new 404 coin wallet. Like, the lag is just simply not there. It's so irritating dealing with the lag. And, oh my god, it's so humid. JFC coins back down to 7 to 9. It's probably, or it's actually really 7 to 12, but it's probably going down because everyone's buying up the majors right now, which is just fine. Uh, 404 coin as usual, 1 to 2. I mean, it's, it's a swap, so, you know, this is. 
like if you act this would actually be a pretty good time to get in on this otherwise you'll just have to wait till after the swap and then wait for the price to go down i don't actually know what the real price is supposed to be. i think it should be two to four hundred satoshis of a dog uh dog so bitcoin uh the, the problem is it's gonna fall exactly two by two coin um uh but it's gonna be twice the value because we're we're starting with 400 and, well actually now the supply is like 414,000. We have to actually keep the blockchain going so something has to stick. So we're, we're doing like really small micro stakes of like half a coin and one coin and whatever just to keep the network running. Uh, once everything opens up and everyone starts getting the new shit, you know, um, uh, which, because I think what BTC Pop wants to do is they actually want to list new 404 coin before Crex finishes their swap process. So, uh, so, so, um, so yeah, so by then, you know, everything should be good. Uh, two by two is really 69 or 71 up to 74. Um, oh okay, yeah, I'm not logged in here, of course. Um, so I think, I think a little bit of my order is somewhere in the 74. Maybe I got, <laughs> ah, shit. Ugh. That's also why I don't actually have the boom mic turned on. Yeah. Even though I think the sound dampening, I think, kind of blocks it up. Yeah, I mean, I sneezed out a bunch of coronavirus right there, right? So anyway, still, of course. Yeah, so 69 to 74. I mean, this thing is still, still, still pretty resilient, especially after everything else is going up here. But eventually, of course, as always, these go down a little bit because I, I call these the exotic cryptocurrencies once my clash of clans kind of game is out you know this will be up all right i was kind of hoping to have it in my tower defense game the first game i'm making but the limitations of what i have to work through is just too much so we'll just i'll just use it as a foundation all right get everything started learn the basics get a server a vps you know do make a little money off of it all right uh maybe it makes no money but it's still gonna be there and um uh, it costs me nothing to implement coin payments on it so it's like hey if it actually makes some crypto you know eventually when i have ten thousand euros to spare um yeah i'll pay the coin payments and then uh, i'm not actually sure what coin i'll use but probably uh the new gmc coin as well so uh but i don't know we'll, we'll have to see uh but new 404 could work all right the problem is you know after new 404 reaches critical mass yet again with the supply it's like eh uh but you know uh, i i've got options but anyway compound coin um i mean actually let me think if we have to swap 404 yet again in a few years yeah i mean i would just have to let coin payments know and then they'll uh just simply actually i don't think they have to do a swap right i mean they just simply have to upgrade to the new wallet and that's what they'll be accepting is the new 404 coin at that point i'll just tell them yeah you'll just have to disable it for like you know 14 or 28 days or whatever however long it takes for the new 404 wall to be active and then re-enable it uh, once that happens it'll just be gravy by that point i'm definitely gonna either hopefully mitch will implement like oh you know changes well actually that's the that's the thing mitch said he couldn't implement a like multi-tiered apr drop as blocks go on because he said he ran into problems so that's why it's fixed at 404 I am curious, maybe we could actually change it instead, because I really don't want to keep doing swaps. Maybe we could just simply change it so that it's 40.4%. The problem is setting it that low when the price has already dropped after so much supply is out there it, it is kind of a problem. So uh, I don't know, I'll have to think on it. So anyway, 2x2 two two is doing good. Compound coin, usual 5100 to 5854 Satoshi's a dog coin. So it's doing pretty well. Uh, I don't think there's anything new here. This humidity is so awful. It's going to get so much worse when, during the summer. So nothing here. All right, let's see. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Joe, provide Bitcoin with cash. Um, yeah, so Russia is just going back to being, uh, being angry at Bitcoin again. So uh, I don't know what Vladimir Putin's fucking problem is, but you know, well, that's just how it goes. So crypto turnaround, JP Morgan now says Bitcoin is significantly undervalued. Ah, oh, this is interesting. So he went for, all right, so we're going to read that. Ripple chief defends regulation of uh, the war strategy challenging the U.S. 
Uh, crypto oil, the fintech stock bets could rebound fall from many value in the U.S. equity markets. Um, I don't know. I, I guess I do want to see that because that, as boring as that could be, that's actually really big fundamentals. Plus, that's a lot of money. Eight hundred billion. That's almost a trillion dollars. That now that is going to have an impact. Uh, Rebrand digital wallets. It's actually a really nice thumbnail. I gotta admit, uh, these are actually all really good thumbnails. Uh, we're not using her. Uh, that that phrasing sounds bad. Uh, yeah, that, 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 that these icons look look ugly. Um, okay, you know what? I like this one. I kind of like this one. Where, where did I open it? Uh, I guess we'll, yeah, we're just using that for that thumbnail. We're not going to read that article. Uh, leading crypto derivatives exchange, Eris X wraps up Bitcoin, blah, blah, blah. Early Robin Hood, boy, says Bitcoin and who says they are our best bets of the next decade. Yeah, I actually retweeted them. I'm actually going to want to watch the SpaceX launch. Um, I didn't actually know this whole time that Elon Musk was sending unmanned rockets yeah. into space, which makes sense because there's a very high chance that it's going to explode until you figure out how to make it not explode. So, you know, we don't, we don't want another, uh, what was it? Uh, Challenger ship exploding or whatever. Uh, was that the shuttle that blew up during George Bush's term? Or am I thinking of the other one, like from the, the Houston one from like the seventies or eighties. Now I'm mixing three different incidents. <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, uh, it's pretty exciting. You know, uh, four thirty-three p.m. is their estimated launch. I'll probably tune in like around I don't know three o'clock, three thirty. I know they're probably gonna tweet out the live stream, so I definitely want to watch it. Early Robinhood, Airbnb. Actually, XQC might actually be odd, so I probably he'll probably watch it on his stream. Early Robinhood, Airbnb says bet best in the next decade. Um, the only reason why I want to read this is because I want to read what he has to say about SpaceX. Uh, early Coinbase investor says crypto spring has arrived. Bitcoin turnaround imminent. Yes, we know that. Uh, wait, Reddit co-founder? Yeah. Uh, who invested in Coinbase back? Oh, wow, nice. So he was an early funder of Coinbase. Bitcoin targeting 100 coins potential. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, and of course, we have more shit. All right, very good. Uh, let's see. Donald Trump is still being, uh, still going to lose Joe Biden? Yes. I'll be getting very annoyed with Trump still, obviously, so because he still keeps thinking, hey, if I just tweet shit, I get all his likes and retweets, things will change. Because he was bitchy about, oh, there's censorship on Twitter, they're interfering with the election. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock, we've been fucking telling you about this as we were getting banned for all these years, you dumb fuck. Or actually, I should say dumb fat fuck, because I actually saw how much weight he's gaining. It's really bad. He's really, He's got to stop eating so much at the White House. I mean, which is hard, because... I hear nothing but like, you know, like every single president, when they leave the presidency, they always said, I will miss the White House cooking. Apparently it's so good there. So, yeah, I don't know. But either way, uh, let's see. Uh, spread new negative, blah, 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 blah. Uh, this, this fucking idiot. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We're acting as police for our time for our time for See, he's still doing it. He still says a lot of dumb shit and then nothing fucking changes. It's like, just stop fucking tweeting and then fucking do it. It's so annoying. That's why this fucking idiot's gonna lose now. Alright, this guy is worse than a paper tiger. He's, he's nothing. Right, and this is another dangerous problem with social media. Like he, you know, he thinks he's doing something because he gets all these likes and retweets. Right, you know, it's like Trump's biggest problem has always been pride and ego. Right, I mean, he's gotten he's overcome most of his other sins for the most part. It looks like ish, but pride is very bad, and it's it's going to cost him the presidency. And it's going to like fuck everything up, and and that's why I'm getting mad. Now he's bitching about Obama. He's bitching about China. Well, wait, no, we have a four both video China, the U.S. is very well we're on their now raging border dispute. Well, China's obviously going to tell Trump to fuck off. Uh, I mean, if I were China, that's exactly what I would do. Because it's like, well, why would we want to mediate? We're better than India. And they, they actually are. And we're just going to take their shit. I don't know why they're having a border dispute. Uh, but... Rogue this field, I told you to totally silence can hear voices. We shall regulate, we will or close them down before we can ever allow it. So we saw what they had to do, fail in 27, we can't let more Yeah, so are you going to fucking do something? 
Really, the cat scale, large male, blah, 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 for a third of battle, whoever cheated the most would win. Like, so you clean up your act now. <sighs> See, he's like, why don't you clean up your act? No, asshole. Fuck, you're the fucking pre. <sighs> like, this. Oh, my God. I'm so. I'm getting so annoyed. Do something. All right, I can't read any more of this shit. All right, let's see if uh, Cuomo has anything new. Healthy to wear a vest, fine. You can wear one for 40 of my words. Yeah, that is actually true. They're very annoying to wear, too. So I always have to, like, take it off just so I could, like, breathe normally a little. Um, all right, I don't see anything new. So, and he's just, all right, so I could probably safely close this. Because at this point, there's nothing new. And then we have more reopening, so that's good. Uh, Mid-Hudson's reopened. Long Island, New York City. Okay, yeah. So basically in two weeks, definitely by June 15th, uh, New York City should be at the 7-7 mark for sure. Uh, maybe, as er maybe as early as next week. Because right now, it's getting hotter. It's getting more humid. Very good. All right. Uh, oh, boy. We actually have a lot of shit here. All right. Uh, I know. Okay, so... The guy who invented who invented who invested in Robinhood, Airbnb, and Uber. Uh, uh, in response to a question for what you do, I think Pablo is expected to he reads it be a badge be. Okay, what? Uh, reason managed being a share of a planet like Earth, SpaceX will be the best multi-journal long-term equity event. Only Bitcoin is the other long-term investment, but it's not equity. SpaceX and Bear are two core long-term systemic bets on the future. As we're trying to big tours in February 20, I can predict a Bitcoin crash between blah 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 and I say the crypto kids targeting 10k. Uh alright, he seems to kinda of know what he's talking about, but again, any asshole can just like there's like millions of people making predictions. Well, I'm one of those assholes, right? The price will eventually hit something. <laughs> you know. Now I still think we're more accurate than most people, but you know, it's still just a bunch of assholes just making up random shit. It's not really random, but it's it's mostly random. I don't want to say mostly. It's like 70% random. I'll put it that way. 70% random. The other 30% you do actually have some kind of actual control over. Fish your fires all blood and sure later tech at large, a power create, multiply, blah 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 blah. I mean also it also helps that he actually invested in these companies too. So and obviously they're very successful. So uh let's try a basket per I shift to a work at home lifestyle will have major repair for the cities around the world. This is fantastic. Uh cities like an engine, uh is there office work, well sure white collar office work. Yeah, that's true. Like everything I'm doing is gonna be digital, right? Like when I hire the unit, the unit, the city building kit guys for making my Clash of Clans game, they're all, I don't even know where they're located, but they obviously speak good English. So um, I think they're American, right? But th that's still remote work. We're all just, you know, doing everything digital. You know, we never meet each other in person. And I think that's fantastic. Um, and most people would actually support this too. It's like, who the fuck wants to... Do you know how much you hate the morning commute? I remember how much I hated it. Now that you don't have to do that anymore, you have you you get you gain so much time. You work from home. You could like do your shit while you're in your fucking pajamas. It's fantastic. And you know what that means? Everyone's gonna be using the internet, which means ISPs have to up their game to increase bandwidth. So it's gonna be great for everybody. And that means with better internet, I can get better gaming. Uh, I mean, I already have like a, a, a Verizon gigabit connection, like pretty much the second or third most expensive plan. But yeah, it's like, <laughs> this is fantastic. Now, as for the city economic engine being dead, uh, this could potentially have an impact on uh, commercial real estate, like office space specifically, because now everyone's just going to be working more at like home. So, but that's not that big, big of a deal. What happens is you have to repurpose the office for uh, the office to be something more like Google, where everything's bright, it's colors, you got couches and sofas and those beanbag chairs. All right. So basically, it's just you go to work, but you're not going to work. You're just going to another home. That, that, that's what that's what the shift is going to be. With that being said, uh, yeah, there'll definitely be a lot more offshoring for sure, or onshoring. Like, you know, if I'm in New York, you know, maybe the maybe the guys are, are in te Austin, Texas. Well, get, well, I'll be offshoring to Austin, Texas, right? This is phase two of offshore. I already hit manufacturing in the area before this. Add phase 
three of water major main jelly will begin to see many proud cities of 20th century cities crumble financial cultural etc hmm We will increasingly live in cities, and the mind will live and work inside a virtual world where the job is the game and the game is the job. Full replacements of our outer lives and escape into our inner lives. We go into inner space rather than outer space. Yeah, with that being said, uh, I, I said something similar, right? Humanity is going to slowly become obsolete. So the only thing that's going to work really is entertainment. And I guess maybe real estate. But even then, real estate could be a problem because everyone's not going to have any more money. But I mean, we all have to live somewhere. So I know real estate will always be around. I think what will have to happen is probably prices will start coming down and then everyone's going to get free rent checks and UBI and all that stuff. Talent builders will focus build the best virtual world is complete with their economies, jobs, kind of blockchain laws, and because imagine every need in the physical world will recreate better versions in these virtual worlds. That's exactly what's going to happen. That is what's happening. And I, I, this is something I've always wanted to do. Right? I just want to make a game, like well, imagine playing Diablo 3 or World of Warcraft, a game of that quality, but then it has a real money, you know, auction house or whatever. Right? And then you, you just, just make money playing your game. All right? Uh, yeah, that's not bad. Also, I don't know why he said SpaceX was going to be an important thing, but he's just said, uh, it's like, I don't know. Uh, Tesla stock. This. Uh, 806 bucks has market cap of 149.45 billion wow uh let's see how about spacex stock is this separately traded no it's under probably it's probably under uh tesla then probably uh what okay that was a good question. And he obviously does not pay dividends. I mean, he shouldn't. It looks. It doesn't look. Stocks making the biggest move. Okay. Hmm. Ah, oh, my God. This is so expensive. Eight oh five. I mean, even if it goes skyrocket to five thousand, uh, how about consider fintech or even from a school pay now? Some of work from home culture. Good creates our Zoom conference. Fintechs are quickly encroaching the banks. Blockbuster video to their Netflix. Uh, due to water, non cash a lot of people make really little dollar really cheaper fees. Uh, business launched on Stripe since live me in March, somewhat incredibly generated more than a billion aggregate revenue. Oh, that's the other thing, too. I, I'll think too. i probably have to do, uh, I'll probably create my own little uh, financial firm, too. Because if I start having to worry about people like deep platforming, banning my shit, well, then we'll, we'll, I'll make my own PayPal kind of thing. Kathy Wood, Final Global RT, blah, 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 like taxi. See, China's already ahead of the curve, right? They're inventing the future. Meanwhile, America is, you know, still all having, you know, blacks and whites being at each other's throats. Uh, well, we haven't done any, you know, degenerate pride parades of, you know, whatever sorts, right? Whether it's, you know, the pink hat ladies or whatever shit that people just like, oh, yeah, pride and being a furry kind of kind of crap. I mean, I'm keeping it kind of broad so I don't get banned. But it, it's just like, it's like, Okay, are you gonna actually make something of value? You're just gonna just like just run around naked doing saying stupid shit, right? It's actually not too much different from people protesting with their guns. It's like first of all, you look like a lunatic. B, you're scaring people, and C, what are you gonna do? Kill people? You're not gonna kill anyone. So why do you have it there? And on top of that, they, they don't care that you have your guns because they took everything else away from you. So they don't need to take away your guns. Uh, anyway, this is America, so we got a lot of idiots running around, unfortunately, and, um, yeah. Oh, but, you know, and, and of course, Trump's just like, whatever. Do I look at how fit, text are able diverse, okay, uh, I don't need to read all this, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so basically, well, I don't know, they're, I mean, they'll def, I mean, banks are kind of, I mean, they're slow, but they're not that slow. Like, they'll eventually catch up to this shit, too. But, yeah, I mean, in the meantime, yeah. I mean, it's just, there's plenty of market and pie. There's plenty of pie for everybody. Uh, yeah, you know, I think I'll just close it because I just don't have too many tabs. I'm only sure I have the, um, yeah, thumbnail. 
So Crypto Terra, JP Morgan now says Bitcoin significantly, but after years of bear, uh, bash Bitcoin, JP Morgan now likes Bitcoin. Uh, the friend that he looks at the trade of uh, trade as a crime based on the pricing on the marginal cost of producing Bitcoin. Yeah, which is nothing. Imagine, imagine the marginal cost of producing this shit. It's practically nothing. Which is why I get so mad when people say I'm not making any money with this. The price keeps going up because you're fucking retarded, right? But I didn't. Uh, but like, I don't sell my book anymore, and how to actually make money and invest is kind of long gone ish. So now I'm gonna make a formal video and post it on these Bitcoin talk forum things. So, you know, there's not gonna be an excuse. If you watch it and you still can't make money, then you're just too dumb to get rich. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, all right? Not only you're too dumb, but you're also probably too impatient, all right? So, you know, because, you know, I had to give up a lot of shit in order to get to where I am today, right? Like, even when I was making, even after I made the fateful decision to buy $500 with the 808 coin, which was already huge, I had to I had I had to think to myself, I can spend six five, six dollars, four dollars and thirty-two cents, you know, buying my cheeser at Wendy's, or I could starve and put that four thirty-two towards buying that much in Bitcoin, which would then allow me to buy up, you know, an extra whatever it was like ten, twenty, fifty thousand eight hundred eight 808 coin. And I thought, hmm, I'm making eight X I turned four dollars and thirty-two cents into eight x, and I have to compensate for the price drops because of hyperinflation. So now I'm making four x, three x. That's still sixteen to twenty dollars. I turned four dollars and thirty-two cents into sixteen twenty dollars, and that's what I was thinking at the time. And I was like, you know what? I'm a fat ass. I go starve so that I can make more money in the future because this is what matters. And here I am. Most people don't do that, you know. And all of you can do the exact same thing right maybe you're going out to wendy's maybe you're buying extra shit at costco that you should not be buying right you can make cuts here and there it doesn't take much to get rich but you have to do it that's that's the insane part of all of this <sighs> nice bitcoin analysis for jp where are you circulating oh i read that according to the report bitcoin is trading 25 percent below the true price would be uh where do they come up to 25? Maybe a very cheap people have intrinsic value at 11,593. Okay. Did you say he was fired in place? He was caught here because he was supposed to get against the company rules. <laughs> I mean, I hate this fucking asshole, Jamie Dimon. He's always, he's like the face of anti Bitcoin at JP Morgan. But I gotta admit, this is pretty funny. JP Morgan new prior parachute Bitcoin that comes after bank on boarded crypto exchanges Coinbase generates customers market potential to the bank's anti crypto error. I'm still not going to use Chase Bank. I mean, I have a friend that I met in real life uh, that works at Chase. Uh, he actually moved over there from my current bank, which I will not name. Um, yeah, I mean, the main reason why I will not open a Chase account, period, is be is precisely because of this shit. All right. My bank was already nervous when they started seeing all my shit from Coinbase, 8,000, 800, 9,000, and then every two days, another 8,000, 9,000. Like both, I mean, Coinbase didn't give me too much trouble. But my bank was like, hey, we're going to suspend, like, they didn't even call. They just simply suspended my account. And then I had to go in and, you know, find out what the fuck was up. And it's like, oh, yeah, it's a security review. Like, yeah, we th they th the system thinks they're money laundering. And then I just told them, oh, I just mine Bitcoin. I was like, yeah, and it's like, okay, so that, that's how I met him. <laughs> uh, but, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, yeah, uh, good times, good times. I really hope we can uh, recapture that, but, uh, you know, it's just like, uh, I know it's only going to be uh, like another week or two or a couple days or maybe even a couple days from now because BTC Pop wants to actually get the swap done before Crex, so I'm kind of curious to see how that's going to work. Oh, but it feels like I'm waiting for years, and in a way, I am waiting for years. It's been so long since I converted crypto into fiat, and like my like, because the swap was not free. I had to pay Crex a fee for the swap process. All right, so I I think I I yeah I remember a couple of weeks ago I did the Bitcoin. I was like, yeah, I have to actually buy Bitcoin for the market. So I timed it correctly, of course, right? If I'm fucking good with this shit, right? I bought I bought it when it hit the bottom, right? And then went up and then went down a little bit but you know point is i bought it at the bottom was like well, what was the 8200 8800 i don't even remember i just remember i was very pleased and i got a lot of bitcoins so i could start paying for the swap fees here at crux 
but yeah, I kind of need my money back. Alright, so, I don't know, we went through a lot of shit, but uh, yeah, everything's getting a lot better, so... If you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so you can continue uh, growing this channel. So everything is all hunky dory. I'll do the investing video on Saturday because it looks like this week is just going to be a lot of news, which is fine. I mean, you know, money, you know. You gotta make money, right? So, uh, all right, there's the thumbnail. So, basically, I don't even remember what I was talking about today, but uh, I'll just look at the headlines. But anyway, uh, everything's going good. I still don't trust JP Morgan Chase, but it's a very good thing that they're going more pro crypto. They kind of have to because now they're working with Coinbase and Gemini as an actual banking source, right? So, you know, Jamie Dimey keeps bashing crypto, right? Well, guess what? He loses his bank, loses money and credibility. And on top of that, it pisses off Gemini and Coins. Like, hey, you're pissing off our customers. Can you stop fucking doing that? And we're not going to accept you anymore, right? You no, know, it's like, yeah, you're a big bank, but, you know, you're going to be a big asshole. Fuck you, right? So, because again, remember, you've threatened someone's survival, especially their economic survival. They will 100% act like hardcore conservatives when you try to take away their guns. All right, there's just this is your no negotiation. <laughs> so it's like, oh yeah, you know, I'm, you know, putting someone in a corner, right, and yeah, trapping them like a rat. That's 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 bad. All right, so that's how I know J.P. Morgan's going to be. You know, that's why again I can confidently say, uh, where is it that J.P. Morgan? You know, this is very good. This is very good for all of us. This is also obviously very good for Bitcoin. But I still don't have to, I still don't want to trust them because again, I don't forget what people said in the past, right? You know, which means they've got some kind of flaw, underlying flaw that could fuck us in the uh, ass without our consent someday. And I don't want to take that risk. Uh, other than that, uh, looks like today should be a pretty good day. I'm gonna watch the SpaceX thing. Uh, Remmel, of course, is doing fantastic. You know, can't wait. So, and I know all everything else is doing well. So whatever. Uh, it'll be nice when my stock market account goes back to 115k. That's the thing. If Trump lose, see, I'm not going to sell my stocks this year. So if Trump loses re-election, I'm, I'm, I'm probably, and that means Joe. I mean, if Joe, if I know Joe Biden's going to win, let's say he wins this year, that Joe Biden's up for re-election in 2024, and he wins that, then it's like, yeah, I could probably, I would definitely look towards selling uh, in the couple of years, like his five, like his like year six to eight of his presidency. Um, so, uh, what you call it, you know, and, and then I'll just, uh, then I'll just, uh, then that probably means, you know, from there on to like another five, six years, it could be another economic catastrophe in the stock market because there's always a big crash every decade of approximately. And then I buy in at the bottom and this time, you know, I'm going to be pumping that shit up. You know, it's like, I could have had a couple, I could have had a $1.2 million, right? I could have took my 50 grand. I put in a MRL, which got wiped out because of UBS's incompetence. Uh, and I could have taken that 50 grand instead, did nothing, and then bought at the bottom when watching this shit. I'll probably be more famous. I've been playing more. I've been actually been. I actually started playing chess yesterday at chess.com. I actually will probably buy their premium $2.84 a month plan because I wanted to see the analysis. Like back when I was playing as a kid, like we didn't have computers and shit. Now we have everything. No wonder everyone's so fucking good at chess. Uh, but I still got it, so I'm just, I'm just rusty as hell, and, uh, you know, now we have YouTube, so I'm gonna look up videos, Harmony, and all, all this other basic shit, and then, you know, I'm gonna, I, th I do think I could reach 2,000, which would be about, like, the minimum level to become some kind of master, I don't even know what it's called, but, uh, yeah, GM Hakaro is 2880. No, that's Magnum Carlson. Carl is 28, 8, uh, 21, I think. So, uh, uh, yeah. But anyway, um, yeah. But everything's everything's looking good. So we're just going to be making some money. Uh, I'm still pretty pissed. I could have made 1.2 million, but that's okay. Next time around, I'll just make 40 million or whatever. Because at that point, I'll be a multi-millionaire. So I could definitely pump a lot in the next stock market crash. Uh yeah. Also, of course, this actually ha turns out to be a correction, and then uh, the real stock market crash hasn't arrived yet. You know, and like, that could be a fact. That could be a that could be a potential thing too. Uh, but again, the fundamentals look solid. 
you know, the banking system is actually solid. Everything's solid. So, you know, we're reopening because the globalists are like, at least there's enough globalists that realize, hey, we kind of need to reopen shit. And everyone's starting to call us out on our mass hysteria bullshit. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. Uh, and yeah, Johnson Chan, JFC Coin, 404 Coin. Uh, okay. Yeah, there is our thumbnail. I wish it was a higher quality, but eh, whatever, it's daily holdo.